Hey guys, Hermit here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to quickly show you how the optical viewfinder and the electronic viewfinder function in the X-Pro3. I've been playing around with the X-Pro3 for a few weeks now, and uh, I really enjoyed using the optical viewfinder and the electronic viewfinder. But I think um, if you're interested in buying, you might want to watch this video to see the difference on how the optical viewfinder versus the electronic viewfinder, how they both function, and which one would you prefer to use. Uh, and then uh, I guess decide whether this camera is right for you or not. So the first um, the first comparison I'm going to do is with a just a prime lens. This is a 23 millimeter f/2 lens, um, and then uh, we'll switch over to a zoom lens and show you what the difference is when using a zoom lens on uh, the X Pro 3 with optical viewfinder and electronic viewfinder. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. The first thing you'll notice via the optical viewfinder or the OVF is that you will notice the lens in the frame. I'm using here an XF23 f2 lens which is a very small lens. With a bigger lens you'll obviously see it more protruding in the frame of the optical viewfinder. You have a very useful overlay on the OVF that shows you the composition and shooting information. Now as you frame the composition Depending upon the distance of the subject from your camera, the frame guides will move around the screen of the OVF to show you uh, what you are composing. When you switch to the electronic viewfinder or the EVF, you see the actual composition with the selected film simulation that's being read by the camera sensor. You still have the older shooting information like ISO, shutter speed, aperture and a whole heap of other useful information. While switching between the OVF and the EVF, the OVF you're seeing straight through the viewfinder, but when you switch to the EVF, the camera will quickly bring up the screen inside the OVF, thereby blocking the OVF and showing you what's on the screen, which is being read by the camera sensor. I will show you again very slowly. Can you see it? It happens in a split second. All right, let me swap over to this um, uh, zoom lens. This is the 18 to 135 lens, uh, one of my favorite travel lens. Um, although they are also like the 16 to 80 millimeter f4 as well. That's another great lens uh, and a newer lens, by the way. Um, so let's test this one out. So the first thing you'll notice is the lens is protruding the optical viewfinder a lot more than the fixed lens, which I was using before. When I zoom in, the selected frame of what is actually going to be captured starts to get smaller and smaller. This is due to the zoom lens I'm using here, particularly offers a maximum focal length of 135 millimeter. At times it's pretty hard to make out your composition and know what you're shooting. When you zoom out of the frame, the frame goes out of the visible area of the optical viewfinder because the field of view is wider than what you're seeing. This means at this point you're capturing wider frame than what you see. No surprise when you switch to the EVF, you are seeing the actual frame that is your composition which will be captured. You can see the composition is pretty tricky when you zoomed in with the optical viewfinder while with the electronic viewfinder you see exactly what you will get. All right, there you go guys. Hope you found that video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you're not subscribed already. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Take care, bye bye.